people sometimes you gotta do this to stir yourself up. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Woo! Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz domingo por la mañana. Y bienvenidos a todos los que nos estén escuchando. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome to all to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Today we're going to be talking about staying positive in a negative world. Oh boy. Staying positive, child of God. Um, nobody can do it but yourself. That's right. Amen. And sometimes you got to notify your face oh, so you can put a smile on. Because people are going to see that smile. Amen. Oh, Ooh, yeah, hallelujah. Yeah. We've been talking about passionate uh, believer, being uh, positive, having a positive attitude. Hallelujah. And you know what? Uh, staying positive in a negative world is very important. Oh, Amen. Because yeah. uh, yeah. I went over there a few minutes ago. You know, we have a little rack back there. All, those of you that are joining us, <laughs> welcome by audio video. We thank you for joining us. I want to, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm just getting a little ahead of myself. But anyway, we want to welcome you. Amen. Uh -huh. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. You know, I was thinking it like this. I always think it like this. You know, when your wife, uh, when you, uh, when somebody fix you a meal, yeah. uh, it always smells so good, and you're excited about eating, and oh man, them little hunger bugs just start bouncing up and down, and say, man, I can't wait to go eat. Well, you know, we got to do the same thing in the spirit. Yeah. We got to feed our spirit, man, the word of God. Yeah. Bible says we're three parts here, and we're a spirit, we have a soul, and we live in a body. Your soul yeah. is your mind, your will, and your emotion. Yeah. Amen? So we got to feed them. What do we feed our, 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 our spirit, man? The word of God. Amen. Amen. So God never talks to you. Well, open up your Bible. You know, yeah. just get it off the coffee table and open it up and look at it, or, or get it from under the bed, wherever you got it hid, and take it out because you got to get it in you. Amen. You're in the walking Bible Amen. of God going through what happened, Amen. being a blessing to somebody. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to apologize because I'm happy. Amen. <laughs> but anyway, welcome those that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. Bienvenidos a los que nos escuchan por audio o video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. And I was talking about uh, setting a table before you. God does this all the time. Yeah. On a daily basis, he says, uh, this is the day I have given you. Rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. And what do we do? We walk around with a frown. <laughs> we walk around like the negative world. We haven't even had an encounter with God. I thought you was a Christian. I am. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> You're really showing it. <laughs> People coming up to you wanting to be blessed or wanting to uh, hear something uh, positive from you, and all they get is something negative. Get away from me. I don't feel good. I woke up bad. Well, you know, sometimes it's your choice to get yourself stirred up and get yeah, in the right yeah, mood, yeah. get in the right attitude. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like I said, I want to give you a shotgun blast. <laughs> <laughs> With shotgun blast, everything comes out. Amen. Yeah, yeah. But you know, we got to fill ourselves with the word yes. so they can come out of us. Mm -hmm. If it's in you, it's going to come out. Yes. You know, I used to be full of the world. <laughs> and it used to come out. And I used to show it. And I was glad about it. And now I've got God in me. And I just want to keep it hid. Mm. Oh. <laughs> we got to be ashamed, you know. We have to let it out. You know, yeah. is the good news. I'm, I'm getting way ahead of myself. But anyway, prepare yourselves to receive. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Tiene algo para usted. Amen. Usted lo tiene que recibir. Praise God. So he wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Mm -hmm. Nos quiere bendecir, animar, cambiar, y corregir. Amen. So you just have to partake. And don't come saying, well, you know, if sister so-and-so, brother so-and-so is here, they really needed to hear this. Uh -huh. Well, this is for you. <laughs> Say, this is for me. This is all for right. me. Well, all right. Praise God. And uh, anyway, staying positive, uh, staying positive in a negative world. Oh, yeah. Before we get all way, way ahead of ourselves, grab your Bibles. Uh -huh. Grab your Bibles. If you don't have one, grab one. Uh, Brother Ryan's back there, he'll give you one. Amen? So praise God. <laughs> this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I'm holy and fed. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never get to say in Jesus' name. Ooh, hallelujah. It says I. This is my Bible. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And we want to get this Bible in me so the Amen. word of God can come out of you. Yes. Amen. So praise, praise God. God. Stay positive in a negative world. Oh, boy. Ooh, 
I don't want to get too far, too far, far ahead. But anyway, I was over there by the rack, and look here. All of you that are watching, or uh, by audio, or, or I mean, those of you that are joining us by audio or video, those of you that can, can uh, see, I've got a whole bunch of things here. And those of you that are listening, listen to this, attitudes to avoid. Amen. It's over there. It's free. All you got to do is take it. Tell your storms how big your God is. You know, sometimes we're always telling how big our storms are. And we get around a crowd that's always talking about the big problems or the big storms. And guess what? We go and join them, you know, because yeah. there's a whole bunch of them and only you. And you're afraid to go over there and say, wait a minute. Y'all got some big storms. But my God is bigger than your storms. Amen. Amen. Be positive. Get ready. Get in there and say, hey, let's pray about this. Yes. Amen. Here's an, who I am in Christ. Yes. Who I am in Christ. You're a child of God. You're somebody. Amen. You're a winner. You're a champion. Amen. Amen. You're somebody. You know, this world, uh, family, friends have been telling you, you know, good. Mm. The word of God tells you different. Amen. You Amen. are somebody. Amen. Yes. Don't face each day. Or the enemy until you have an encounter or face God in prayer. Amen. 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 You got to get yourself right. Amen. Yeah. You got to go to him first and say, yeah. hey, hey, I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I'm strong in him. And I'm strong through him. Yeah. And no matter what comes against me today, yeah. greater is he that's in me than he is in the world. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So you know what? You got to have an encounter like Saul did. <laughs> yes. Of the best kind. Yeah. Not only, I mean, God just knocked him off his horse. Mm -hmm. So sometimes he got to knock us off the throne and, and put it and let him get on the throne. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Sin. You only want to know about sin. God hates sin. He loves sinners. Pastor Pat said something about, uh, um, well, where was I going with this? <laughs> sometimes you feel like you, you don't have it, you know? But you got to know who you are. Yeah. And, and you've sinned and you feel like, you no good. God can't use you anymore. Somebody told you this. You heard it somewhere. So you got to find out what the word of God says so that you can get the right truth. Yeah. And the truth is going to set you free from all this. Yeah. God's not finished with you. If you're still in this world, God puts you on a mission. Mm -hmm. He's equipped you to fulfill the mission. Yeah. And you just got to find out what the word is, what the truth is, so that you can go out there and do what he's called you to do. He didn't put you in here and he didn't make no mistake. That's right. Amen. So praise God. It says sin will take you further than you want to go. Keep you longer than you want to stay. And cost you more than you want to pay. Yeah. Christ paid the price already. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Let your faith know. Let your faith be bigger than all your fears. Yeah. You know what stops us from sharing sometimes? That's just a few. Amen. Amen. They're back for the good news. Amen. Sometimes what stops us from sharing is fears. When you're full of the word, you're full of faith. And when you're full of faith, fierce has got to go. Yeah. And when you're full of the word, it's got to come out. Amen. All you have to do is release it. <laughs> you know, how many times you got in front of somebody or in front of a crowd mm -hmm. and God told you, share this, say this. Only thing that stopped you was the fear. Mm -hmm. Only thing that stopped you is that, well, maybe not be the right time. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it's good, you know it's God. If, it, if, it, if it's not about steal, kill, or destroy, mm. you know, it's God. And he wanted you to share. Maybe it's just one word. Say, hey, mm -hmm. God loves you. You know, hey, you're a blessing. You know, yeah. say something nice. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah, be Bless nice. Woo, hallelujah, praise God. Let me see. Stay in positive. Stay in positive in the negative world. You see all them little frowns in there? <laughs> <laughs> That's a big crowd. And only you stick out. Oh. You're the only smile in there. Yeah. And guess what? If you see a, a smile in a room full of frowns, it's going to stick out. Yeah. And people, you're going to make people mad. Mm -hmm. You say, everybody's sad in here. Didn't you hear the news? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard the news. I heard the good news. Yes. Not the bad news. That's right. You yeah. know, if you heard something bad, it's time to take it to the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Keep going. Let me see. Ooh, hallelujah. Stay in positive in the negative world. We don't want that. We put a smile on your face no matter what. When you had an encounter with him, be glad and rejoice in this beautiful day he's given us. Amen. He's told us what to do. 
But we're going to choose to say, well, you know, hey, I don't feel that way. It's not about your feelings. It's what, about what the Word of God says about you. Yeah. Amen. Don't. <laughs> you don't want to be around some of them. But that's all right. But you, the good news is among sin. Amen. Keep going. Yes. <laughs> okay. If you look at the world, you'll see. If you, where it says world, if you look at the world, mm -hmm. it also says people. Yeah. You'll be in stress. If you look within, you'll be depressed. If you look to God, you'll be at rest. Amen. You'll be yeah. at peace because Amen. he is the Prince of Peace. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Go one more. Okay, leave it right there. <laughs> you can be reading that because we're going to use it in a few minutes. Amen. All right. Stand positive in a, in a negative world. Let's, uh, you could be opening your Bibles too. We're going to be talking about uh, Proverbs 18.21. So let's go there. And uh, we know this uh, scripture very well. But uh, let's find it in our Bibles. You can dust some of that dust off while you're turning. If you've never opened it there before. <laughs> Proverbs 1821. And we read it so many times, but that's okay. Are you there? It says, Death and life are what? In the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. The Amplified says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that indulge in it shall eat the fruit of it, or death or life. For death or life. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me read it a couple of other translations for you. It says, words bring death or life. Mm -hmm. The message Bible says, words kill. Mm -hmm. Words give life. They're either, they're either poison or fruit. Mm -hmm. You choose. You plant your garden and you reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, what I'm trying to tell you is this. Death and life are in the power of of the tongues. Death and life are in the power of your words. Mm -hmm. But you choose those words. Mm -hmm. You know? And as we grow in the things of God, we learn that we just can't go around shooting words off. Mm -hmm. If they're not if they're not positive, they're negative. But if whatever you sow, whatever you speak, you're gonna just grow in your garden. Yes, amen. amen. Words are carriers. They carry life, but they carry death. He tells us. Amen. So when you sow that seed is it a seed of positive? Is it a seed of life? Or is it a seed of death? You're going to grow it. And it's going to grow in your garden, not somebody else. You're not, you may be saying it out, but it's going to come back at you. And you're going to grow what Amen. you send out. Amen? Because it's going to come back. Yep. As a matter of fact, let's go to Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah 55. Everybody, well, we all know these, and they're good. Isaiah 55. Are you there? I'm there. 55, 11. Very familiar. God saying, this is what he says, So shall my words be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the things where to I send it. Mm -hmm. the, you know, God created this world by using words. Yes, That's yes. how powerful That's his right. words are. Yes. Amen. Jesus had held his tongue when he had to, but he spoke when he knew what to say. But he knew that if he had spoke the wrong thing, everything, his whole mission would have just been void. Amen. So he held his words. So can we. Yes. We can hold our words. Amen. Yes. I told you I come from a family of uh, uh, cussing champs. <laughs> and I still know them all. Oh. They don't look so innocent now. <laughs> I know them all. But guess what? Uh -huh. It gets as far as here. And then I stop. Amen. I don't say them anymore. No, that's not of God. And no, I don't want to sow that in my garden. Okay. And no, I don't want to bless anybody with oh. a negative word. Or with a cuss word. Yeah. Right. Amen. But you stop it. You put a zip on the lip. Amen. <laughs> and don't be hung by your tongue. Oh, Amen. Right. Praise God. Oh. Listen, the playgrounds, we always used to say this, oh. and you've heard it before. Sticks and stones oh. may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Oh. How wrong that is. 
Yeah. We used to teach it to our kids. Mm -hmm. And we used to say, hey, man, it sounds so beautiful, sounds so good. But words will hurt you. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Hurt. I mean, uh, words will hurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo, look to stand in him. Let me uh, read to you what I put out on uh, Facebook this morning on the scripture break. And uh, if you haven't joined in on the scripture break, please do. It'll only bless you. All I want to do is bless you, and God wants to bless you. And uh, listen to this. Look to him, stand in him. It says, look to him. Look to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Stay focused on him. Your distractors will come to whisper accusations, lies to you. Look to him. Your adversaries will come announcing lies. Look to him. Your friends will come with words that won't comfort you. Look to him. Your family will misunderstand you. Look to him. Some will hate you for his sake. Look to him. Father will vindicate you in time. Always look to him. He is always there for you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. You know? So when we do, we look, we look to him. Amen. So praise God. Faith or maturity in Christ enables us to stay positive in a negative world. Mm -hmm. It don't matter where you go. That's right. Okay? Even if you stay home, you turn the TV on. Oh boy. Or whatever you're listening to mm -hmm. will be negative. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or wherever you happen to go. There's, it's going to be a negative world. Watch your words. Watch your actions. Prefer speak positive or faith-filled words. It's your choice. I was looking for another piece of paper that we put out. It's called your say-sos. Oh. What is your say-so? My say-so says I'm a winner. My say-so says I'm a champion. My say-so says that I'm a, a overcomer. Amen. Amen. These things you confess on yourself. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If you don't start confessing, if you don't keep confessing those things, pretty soon you being around a negative world, negative people, you'll start confessing what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, we don't want to do that. We want to confess what the Word of God says. So we watch our words, we watch our actions. Be positive. Have a positive testimony. We'll bring others to Christ. You have an awesome testimony. Yes. Amen. The Bible tells us in Revelations that they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. You have a positive testimony. Yes. You may not think so, but God, at the right time, wants you to use it. He knows the right time. Yes. And when he gives you that urge, you know, to say, say something, speak it, say it, you know, hey, I used to be that way. Yeah. I used to do that. Now's the time to say it. But God brought me out of it. I'm delivered from all this. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Now's the time to share it. But you have an awesome testimony. Praise God. Praise God. Well, I never did anything like that. Well, great. Praise God. Amen. You still receive Jesus because without Jesus, you ain't going nowhere. Amen. <laughs> you're going down instead of up. That's right. You got to make sure you're going up. We don't have to look far to see or find someone or something negative. Amen. We could talk about this all day. Uh -huh. Amen. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> People are quick to speak the negative or the problem uh -huh. before they speak the positive or the truth. All right. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. <laughs> we gotta be careful. Yeah. Some of these include some of these include ourselves. Amen. When you look in the mirror and you give yourself up pretty. To go out for the day, <laughs> you got to deal with this problem here. <laughs> We're going to confess the right things. Maybe uh, Pastor Pat's got some confessions right there in, in, the, in the mirror, you know, before she gets ready. Sure we need to confess those things. <laughs> Amen. Confess those things. <laughs> oh, I'm looking so pretty. I'm, I want to be a good blessing going, going somewhere to happen yeah, for God. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, ourselves, our families. Remember? Uh, what, what was it we said? Uh, you don't have to look far to see someone or something that's negative. Sometimes the family. Amen? True. Got to be careful. Sometimes our friends, sometimes our neighbors, co-workers, our enemies for sure. Oh boy. Sometimes our church. We have to be careful. Amen? 
I sit in the back to see who comes. I see it in the back to see who's doing what or who's wearing what. <laughs> I got to get in the right spirit. I've told you this before. You know, hey, enemy's already attacking the messenger. So you got to be praying, you know, pray for that. Pray for the person up here. You know, for the word of God to be delivered. Yeah. You know, and you're over there just wondering, well, that's not for me, that's not for me. You know, I'm just passing it up, you know. Mm -hmm. Mom, you didn't cook anything good today, so I'm just going to pass it all away. Well, God's got something for you, but you're not receiving it. He's knocking, but you're not answering. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Look, listen, our church, remember this, church, our mission, we're the church. Let me read it to you how the way I wrote it. We're the gospel church bringing good news positive news amen to the world we're not the gossip church bringing bad news right. or negative news anywhere we go right we're the gospel church bringing good news to the world and that's what our mission is mm -hmm. he says you're a new creature in christ you're yeah. our minister of reconciliation uh -huh. now you are Am ambassador for God. Yes. You're his mouthpiece here on earth. Mm -hmm. You spend time with him so that you get yourself filled and prepared to meet the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then you come to the world and you bring positive news, good news, the good news. And they see Jesus through your words and your actions. And believe me, if they don't see God, they'll let you know right away. Mm -hmm. I thought you was a Christian. <laughs> and you said, oh, yeah. uh oh, Lord, I, 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 Lord, I, I repent. I feel. Mm -hmm. I repent. You know, just mm -hmm. confess it to him, get it out, spit mm -hmm. it, quit it, and don't do it anymore. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I put you in the amen to me. I won't keep you long now. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Listen to this. Speaking of negative is a problem that never helps. Oh, it keeps right. us in bondage. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Speaking of problem keeps you in bondage. Amen. Why? Because yeah. you're so in negative. Yeah. So there's, there's no uh, positive in that. Mm -hmm. Speaking of positive is your solution. Yeah. Yes. Speaking the word or the truth of God says will set you free. free. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm free from whatever's holding you back. Right. So you know what? <laughs> Admit it, quit it, and don't do it anymore yeah. and press on. Right. Yeah. He's not finished with you. That's Get right. up, dust yourself. You know, well, you know, brother, sister, so and so says, God can't use me anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? It's time for you to go find you another church. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's time for you to go find you some new friends new that's going to help you yeah. 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 instead of put yeah. you down. Yeah. 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 Come on now. <laughs> go find you some friends that are going to help you and say, you know yeah. what? God's not finished with you. Right. You know, mm -hmm. just confess it, repent, and, and press on. Yeah. Yeah. He says, Get up. Yes. Go on, you know. <laughs> How many times David failed God? Oh. And God said, he's a man after my heart. Mm -hmm. Get up. Mm -hmm. Dust yourself. It's time to press on. Yes. Keep going. <laughs> Praise God. He wants to use you. He's using you if you make yourself available. Mm -hmm. He's looking for available people, not yes, uh, uh, people that are just... Uh, sitting there or your abilities you know yeah. he's looking for availability not mm -hmm. abilities amen mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. i lost my place <laughs> <laughs> make quality decisions every day oh, to stay positive God. in spite of a negative world or negative people mm -hmm. i don't care where you go you're going to run across negative people yes 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 <laughs> i know you never haven't been there but <laughs> i have <laughs> Making quality decisions every day to stay positive in the negative world, uh -huh. around negative people, around negative circumstances, or distractions. They're going to come. The enemy's going to see to it that right. you have yeah. an encounter. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what you do with it is how you prepare yourself. Mm. Amen. John 16, uh, 33 says this in New King James. These things I have spoken unto you, mm -hmm. that in me you might have peace. Yeah. In this world you'll have tribulations. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Yeah, He's yeah. already telling us. These problems yeah. I encountered myself. Uh -huh. You know, if they hated me, guess what? They're they going to hate you. Yeah. So we're trying to be friends with the world. <laughs> be friends with God. Yeah. Amen. So <laughs> that's just a good word. <laughs> quit, trying to be, well, quit trying to be men pleasers. Be God pleasers. You know what? You'll never please the world. <laughs> Amen. 
You can mark some of these down. That was John uh, 16, 33. Keys to staying positive and have victory daily is to stay positive with the right attitude, yeah. with a positive attitude, with a winning attitude. Amen? Amen. And here's uh, why I told Carmen to stop here. Three steps. Well, these are three steps to staying positive. <laughs> First one says what? Stop making room for negativity. Oh, boy. You know, <laughs> if somebody's shooting out some negative things, don't you say, oh, I just going to catch it. Oh, that's for me. <laughs> don't take it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Stop doing that. Yeah, and right. you know, the enemy brings all these bad things in front of you. Uh -huh. Quit stop and, and meditating on it and uh -huh. taking it. You say, let it go. Yeah. I'm not, stop it. Number yeah. two says what? Drop the negative and replace it with the positive. All right. Just doing about face. You know, uh -huh. you was going the wrong way, pleasing yeah. the world. Now you're doing about face and you turn around. Mm -hmm. Now you're doing the positive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you know what? You have family, you have friends, you have people who come around and say, you're not fun to be around anymore. Uh -huh. You used to be this way uh -huh. and I like you this way. Oh, and God. am I going to please them and turn around and go back the other oh, way? No. no. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to keep going. You know what? Hey, if God takes them from you, let them go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't chase them. Let them go. <laughs> if he takes it from you, let it go. Right. Amen. This is a good change. Yeah. And he'll change you. He'll correct you. Uh -huh. And then he's made a correction. You did a correction. You made it about faith. And it's time to press on with him mm -hmm. yeah. and doing the right thing. You know, people are going to see and say, hey, mm -hmm. you made a change, and I like the change you made. You know what you do is you say, oh, yeah, you know, I know. No, you say, you know what? God, it's because of God, it's because of Jesus, and he can do the same thing for you. For yeah. God so loved the world. That's right. You know, and he loves you just as much, yeah. and he can do the same thing for you. Yeah. It's not time to beat him down and say, you know, hey, keep him down. It's time to raise them up, right. lift them up, encourage yeah. them, and say, hey, Lord. we can do that. Amen. You know, Amen. with him, you can do all things through Christ. All things. Amen. Yeah. All things, not some things, but all right. things through all Christ. Things. Mm -hmm. Amen. Doing the right things daily. Seek him first. Mm -hmm. Put his word first. Matthew 6, 33. Seek first the kingdom oh, yes. of God, his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. Hey, we forgot. Number three, huh? Number three. <laughs> Say, roll your knees unto God, broad shoulders, staying positive when you feel negative. Mm. Well, it don't come a time when you feel negative, okay? Oh, yeah. But you have to, say, yeah. it's in you. Yeah. The love of God, yes. the power, and all those gifts oh. are in you. You yeah. got to do the stirring up. Because, yes. you know, a lot of people are just going to come and agree with you and say, Oh, yeah, you look negative. Oh, yeah, you look bad, you know. <laughs> Can't help you. They're just going to help you stay down. Right. You're going to stay. Stir mm -hmm. yourself up and get up, mm -hmm. you know. Stir yourself up. <laughs> and it says to roll it on him. Uh -huh. And we're going to get to those scriptures here in a few minutes. But it says cast all your cares. Oh, roll it all on him. It says yeah. cast it. Give it to him. Because the enemy is going to see to it. Yeah. You know. They're going to throw it on you. Mm -hmm. Family's going to throw it on you. Friends are going to throw it on you. Amen. But we're to roll it on him. Yes. Because he's got broad shoulders. Uh -huh. Amen. And he says, give it to me. Mm -hmm. I've got you on a mission. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry about those things. Mm -hmm. Because I want you to complete the mission. I want the whole world to know about Jesus. Yes. Amen. So how do the whole world going to know about Jesus? Oh, boy. Us. Yeah. We're his mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Glory, glory. Uh, refuse to quit when things get tough. Oh, oh you yeah. know, things are tough. Oh. <laughs> I've been hanging out with losers. <laughs> I've been hanging out with skunks. <laughs> I'm starting to smell like them. Oh, boy. You know, don't quit. Don't stop. That's right. <laughs> Jesus had an opportunity to quit. Mm -hmm. He's our best example. Mm -hmm. And we're to imitate him. Yes. It's time to hey. He know it. He understands. No, yes. I really need you. I need your strength right now. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> we can't make. We need him daily. Yes. Amen. Amen. We can't make it without him. Amen. We can't make it without him. Amen. Refuse to quit. That's right. Quit is not in God's vocabulary. That's right. Amen. Not at all. We're winners, not quitters. Mm -hmm. Amen. Refuse to speak negative. Mm -hmm. When things get tough. <laughs> The tough get going. 
Yeah, amen. amen. Well, God's team, guess what? Mm -hmm. God's team, or who we're talking about teams today, even though all these football games coming on today. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Pete, Pete. Pete's eyes perked. <laughs> we're on God's team. Yes. And God's team never right. loses. <laughs> amen. So, guess what? Call yourself a winner. Amen. The world, family, Friends, oh, everybody's been calling you a loser. Oh, boy. But you're no loser. Amen. God didn't see you that way. God right. equipped you this way. That's right. So quit calling yourself Amen. a loser. Yes. Quit, call you, quit calling yourself a nobody. Uh -huh. Amen. He's always had his hand on you. Yeah. We just yeah. need to acknowledge him and say, Lord, I want you. I want you. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm ministering to somebody. Oh, ministering to me. Hallelujah. Yes. yes. When, the, when, when things get tough, the tough get going. Yeah. Our best example, Jesus, mm -hmm. Moses, David, mm -hmm. some Bible heroes God used. Mm -hmm. Only Jesus was perfect. The rest of them sinned, mm -hmm. but God used them. Yes. If you read about all these Bible heroes, they all had sin in their life. Mm -hmm. But they repent. God used them. Mm -hmm. Amen. So <coughs> remember that. Be available. Participate. Mm -hmm. Commit. Surrender. Get involved. Yes. That's the main thing is get involved. Yeah. Lord, I want to be involved in these last days. Amen. Only thing keeping you out is yourself. Mm -hmm. So you got to talk to self. So we're, we're back in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Say, self, <laughs> you're going to be a child of God and you're going to be the best mm -hmm. servant of God. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us, we found out last week in uh, Matthew, I think it's 20, 28, that says, that man, the son of man didn't come to be served. He came to serve. Yes, so if Jesus can do it, so can we. Amen. Amen. We got to get off our como se llama. <laughs> <laughs> and Lord, I want, I want to be used. And yes. guess what? He's going to put you to use. Yes, he <laughs> He's going to use you. So, hey, all of a sudden, I'm excited. Doing something for God. Doing yeah. something to happen. Yeah. Being a blessing. Yeah. Hallelujah. So getting involved. Getting uh, uh Surrender unto him. Stay hungry. <laughs> Here's the thing. You know that great meal he's fixing for you? You got to oh, stay hungry. Yeah. You got to stay thirsty. You got to stay uh -huh. positive. You got to stay filled with him. Yes. Amen. Amen. Remember last week? We're going to talk to you about Mundo and, uh, and, and, and the, the Coke can. And you got to stir up this can of Coke. So good. When yeah. you pop it open, it just flows out. I want to give you that shotgun blast, you know? <laughs> Well, that's what we got to do on a daily basis. Stir yourself up. Uh -huh. you know? Get before him. So when you go and stuff like that happen, you're going to be a, a, a big, big, big blessing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Stand and continue to stand in him. Yeah. Amen. Put on the full, full armor of God. Yeah. See the good in them and not just the bad. Mm -hmm. Some people are real good at that, you know. Mm -hmm. All they do is see the bad in you yeah. and never see the good. And lots of time is because they're jealous because mm -hmm. they want to do what you're doing, but they don't put the effort to it. That's right. That's right. Amen. So see the good and not just the bad. Remember, love, accept, and forgive. Yeah. Yeah. Love, accept, forgive. Yeah. The love and the compassion of God. That's mm -hmm. don't just feel sorry for people. Yeah. But let the love and compassion of God flow from you. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's going to bless somebody. Yes. Yeah. Say God. You know, hey, I'm praying for you. You know, if you see somebody out there that needs prayer, pray for them right there. And I love what yeah. Rusty does, you know. Pray for them right there. Don't say, well, hey, you know what? <laughs> Too many people around here. I I'll pray for you, okay? Mm. Well, when I get home, when I get somewhere in the car, when I'm all by myself and nobody's watching, I'll pray. Mm. You know what? If you go pray for somebody in public, you might have a crowd. Say, you know yeah, what, man? Could, could you pray for me? I don't feel like <laughs> You know, can't you pray for me? My family's just falling apart. Mm -hmm. That'd be the right place. God tells you yeah, right yeah, there. Don't put yeah. it away. Don't hide it. Yes. Amen. You're the light. You go yes, stand out. Yeah. <laughs> you're, the, you're the only one smiling amongst all these frowns. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. Love, accept, forgive. Love and compassion. I always think about these things, you know. Love and compassion. You know, you see <laughs> hurting people. You see uh, the homeless, and instead of having a negative attitude about this, think about this, for God so loved the world. Yes, he did. Amen. You see 
all the handicap, you see, all those that are not in their right mind because of whatever. Accidents, drugs, alcohol, whatever. For God so loved the world. Mm. Amen. So who are we to say, hey, they're not good enough for God? All. All are good for God. Amen. Amen. Be fishers of men. We can catch and he'll do the cleaning. Yes. Amen. He does the judge and he'll does the cleaning. Well, he just wants us to share the word. Mm -hmm. You don't go say, well, you know, you're not good enough for the kingdom of God. For God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. Remember that. For God so loved the world. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, this uh, I put this on here. The woman caught in the act of adultery. Everybody was going to stone her. Mm. She was to be stoned to death. But Jesus yeah. came. Yes, he did. And then he kneeled down and he wrote on the sand. Huh. And then he looked up and says, where's all your accusers? He says, they're gone. He says, well, no, I'm good. You know, don't do it. He's done the same with us because yeah. we was doing an adulterous life, living in the world. Mm. And now we've confessed him as Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. So he says, hey, you know what? Your sins are forgiven. Mm. Go. And now do what I've called you to do. Yeah. Amen. And do for me. Yeah. Accomplish what I've called you to do. Remember to stop the negative thoughts, murmuring, and complaining. Yeah. You hear this, don't join it. And if you hear something negative about somebody, say something positive. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. He's doing good. Looks good. Whatever. Remember, control your words. Guard your words. Zip the lip. Mm. Watch your words and your actions. Mm. Don't get hung by the tongue. Think before you speak. Mm. Think before you shoot. Mm. <laughs> I've said this before, and uh, it may not be funny for some of you, but uh, before you shoot, some of us have some machine guns, and we spit out a lot of words, mm -hmm. and we got to be careful. Yep. Amen. <laughs> so <laughs> think before you shoot, before you speak. <laughs> yeah. Woo, man, I saw I heard this auctioneer the other day, and man, he was, I said, man, is that tongues he's speaking in? <laughs> we travel our whole lives using words. So speak positive words. Yeah. We frame our world by the words we speak. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're living in a negative world, it's because of the words, how you frame your, your, your world. Mm -hmm. If you want a positive world, then start framing your world in, with positive words. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, when you build something, you gotta have a solid foundation. Mm -hmm. Well, we want a solid foundation in Him. So we want to frame this uh, solid foundation with positive words, yes. with the Word of God. Amen. So we can stand on the rock. He says he's our rock. So we're standing on the solid, solid foundation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Amen. Woo! Taste your words before you spit them out, <laughs> before you shoot them out. Is this going to bless somebody or hurt somebody? Am I going to lift them up or put them down? Mm. You already know. Yeah. But I have to tell it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I just have to give them a piece of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, <laughs> you're sowing in your garden. Oh God, you might have blessed them. You might have embarrassed them in front of people. Mm. But you're sowing in you. Mm. And people are going to look at you. Mm. Say, well, I thought he was... She was a Christian. Mm. That was not very uplifting. Mm. Now you got to go deal with him. Yeah. You know, and maybe you have to go deal with them and say, you know, I didn't mean to say that. Mm. You're not that. Yeah. You know, and so yeah. Lord is going to deal with you pretty straight. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Praise God. Again, Proverbs, our text, Proverbs 18:21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of your words. Amen. Words are powerful. Yes. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Mm -hmm. Bible tells us talking about your mountain will not bring it down. Mm. Talking about the mountain and agreeing with the mountain is not going to bring them down. Speaking to your mountain mm -hmm. is going to speaking the word of God to your mountain is going to bring it down. Yeah. Amen. So you got to speak to those mountains. What is your mountain? Problems? Mm. Giants? 
financial giants, uh, storms of life, whatever yours may be different than your neighbor or me. But still, you've got some mountains that you got to bring down, but you got to speak to them and don't side with the mountain and say, oh, yeah. man, some of you enjoy this crowd is talking about all these problems they got. Huh. And you say, well, let me, let me get in because I got a whole lot of problems. <laughs> and man, one top and the other, you know, and we go all the way around. Nobody say anything about God. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when David brought lunch to his brothers, they were being confronted by the Philistine armies. Mm -hmm. And all they talking about, even the army of God, mm -hmm. they were talking about the giant. The giant. Yeah. They were talking about their problem and, face them, and facing them. Mm -hmm. And David, little David came to bring lunch. And guess what? <laughs> He's ready to get into the fight. Mm -hmm. Because that's stirring it up. That God yes. in him. Yes. Said, Wait a minute. My God is bigger than this giant. Yeah. You need to know. You, your God is bigger than any problem, any mountain, yeah. any giant out there. Yeah. Just like David said, just get mad and say, hey, my God is bigger than what you guys are talking about. Right. And you got to say it and you got to act it. And he went and he killed the giant. Yeah. You got to speak to those mountains, the word of God, and they will come mm -hmm. down. So this is what we were talking about a few minutes ago. Philippians 4.16. And the NIV says, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Amen. Amen. God wants you to have a true peace by not worrying about anything. Worrying is sin. Worrying is sin because you're not trusting God. Yeah. Because you're worrying and you're having fears. Yeah. And fear is opposite of faith. Yeah. And when you step out in faith, you're stepping out in God. Mm -hmm. With God. Amen. So yeah. he wants us to trust and have faith and not fear. Amen. Hallelujah. First Peter 5, 7. You can write these. It says, cast all your anxieties, cast all your cares on him because he cares about you. Yes. God has called us to fulfill our race, our mission. As we go about fulfilling, we must get rid of all the cares, anxieties, weights, and have peace of mind. By doing this, we can stay positive in a negative world. Amen. Give it all to him. Say, hey, I'm not, I don't have time to worry about these things. Lord, I'm giving this to you. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Because he said, give it to him. Yeah. I've got other things he wants me to do. And for me to fulfill what he wants me to do, I got to pass all these negative things on him. Mm -hmm. He says you can do all things through yes. Christ. Yeah. Amen. Praise Hallelujah. God. Praise God. And uh, you can write this down and we'll close with this. Yeah. Hebrews 12, 1 says in the New Living Translation, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a crowd of witnesses, yeah. huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every way that slows us down. Especially the sin that so easily trips us up. Yes. Let us run with endurance the race yeah. God has set before us. Yeah. He has set a race before each and every one of us. Yeah. Amen. But we got to strip off every weight that slows you down, distracts you. You got to strip it off. Especially yeah. the sin that so easily trips us. Yes. That's for each and every one of us. Yeah. Amen. So we got a whole bunch of heroes up in heaven cheering us on. Yes, you right. can make it. You can have it. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. I'm going to skip some of this and I just go on straight to it. In closing, Amen. <laughs> Blow it. it is faith in Christ that enables us to be positive in a negative world. Overcome this world by the blood of the Lamb. Yes. Amen. Jesus Christ and be positive testimony and bring others to Christ. Amen. Bring others to Christ. Ministers of reconciliation. Yes. Sharing the good news. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And of course you can find that in Revelation 12, 11. Uh -huh. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb yeah. and the words of, my, of, of their testimony. Of my testimony. You can say my testimony. And they did not know their lives unto death. Yeah. Watch your words, your actions. Watch your say so's. Yes. Speak faith-filled words. Amen. 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 And if it's not going to lift them up, don't say it. Mm. You are not put here to put somebody down. That's You're right. here to lift somebody up. 
Yes. Zip the lip, watch your words. No That's very important. Yes. Staying positive in the negative world. Don't join the wrong crowd. Mm -hmm. Don't copy the world. Be the original God makes you to be. Yeah. You don't have to copy anybody. Right. If you're going to copy anybody, be an imitator. Be an imitator of God. Yes. Amen. And study, meditate, and renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. Yes, amen. Yeah. Do these things. There we go. Stop these. <laughs> Stop making room for the negative. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. I hope uh, amen. that bless you and bless me. Amen. <laughs> it blessed me. And those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, if you have never accepted Christ, now's the time, you know. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is say, Lord, I admit you wrong. Admit it, quit it, repent, confess it, get it out of you, and go find your base Bible church where you can study the Word of God, where they're going to lift you up and study the Word of God and share the Word of God. So you can do that for yourself. And then start going out. You know, if somebody told you, God can't use you anymore, that's a, that's a lie. That's yeah, not what the Word of God says. So it's time for you to receive Him as your Lord and Savior and go out and change the yes. world for God. Amen? Amen. So praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God.